If anybody here loves a challenge, it's this guy right yeah. here. Uh, Ken Winnegard is here, and um, uh, uh, one of our loyal viewers reached out and had a challenge, not a challenge, but wanted you to try to take an idea and run with it. Yeah, it, it was a request, you know, it was from Paula Latham, and she says she loves her projects and she doesn't have a headboard. She's on a really tight budget. Did I have any suggestions to make a headboard for very little amount of money? Okay. So, of course. Fantastic. So of course I was quite happy did. about that. And it was a nice challenge, okay. and, and Ryan is joining us because he is, you were in construction. You I like working with my hands, so this is, this is, this kind of repurposing is right up my alley. Hey, there you wow. go. I mean, you're, you got, you're handy. I'm a handy guy to have around. Friend I'm a handy guy to have around. Ryan. That's what handy R, R2 is what we're going to call him. All right, you uh, got started earlier. Right, right, well, no, what I wanted to do for, just before we go there, I, so what I wanted to make for her was something that didn't look, because there's lots of inexpensive ways to do a headboard, but I wanted something for her that was going to look substantial. Mm -hmm. So what I went for was a paneled headboard, which you can get in all the stores, but here's one by one of the big chains. I'm not going to mention it, any mall. And that headboard, just the headboard, is $649. You know, wow. it's nice, it's solid wood, it's panel, but yeah. it's going to be expensive. Yeah, it's not cheap. Um, so I wanted to make one for her, that same look, but to do it out of a, a door, an old door, mm -hmm. which everyone has lying around. Um, you know, I've got like eight of them that I pulled out of my house in the renovation <laughs> that are sitting in the garage. Yeah. But you can also, this one, I went on Craigslist. Craigslist, they run about 30 bucks. Really? Or go to architectural salvage places where you can also get them. And these are solid, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the thing. Yeah. A couple things you want yeah, to look this for. Is heavy. Very good. Ooh. You want to make sure it's solid because you're going to have to cut it. So you don't want a hollow door, solid wood. And you want one that has some portion of it that is a symmetrical pattern. So here we have these two squares mm -hmm. and making a queen size bed. We can cut yeah. off these two because you don't want it to yeah. look like a door on its sideways. Interesting. Side. Ah. So those are those are the only tips. Nice. Okay. okay. All right, we, got, we got started. started. Let's yeah. take a look. And you got started. So what I did, this is for a queen size bed, it's gonna be 60 inches. So as you said, as I said, I sort of centered that 60 inches Very on the two rectangular portions. And then I just got a table saw and just slit off an even amount from each side so that it was good. Then I got a one by four piece of wood pre-cut from the lumber store and I just nail gun that to the top. You could also use hammer nails, you could use screws. Now this is a tricky part, we're doing, um, crown molding. There's a yes. part that's for the wall, that part, and a part that's for the ceiling. So you want to put the part that's for the wall up against the back of your Mida saw, set it at 45 degrees, just like that. The upper part is the part that goes to the wall, and then mm. cut it. That's how you're going to get one part. Then crown you're molding gonna, can get tricky. It can get tricky. Yeah. Switch it the other direction and do your other cut, and that is going to be your other 45. And those two pieces oh, wow. will go together to create your nice corner. It's a little tricky. You don't Plan need a big chop scrap. Off. I went through a lot yeah, of scrap. Yeah, you go through a lot. The math on yeah. And then wood glue, again, nail gun, hammer nail drill screw, whatever tools you, you have and are comfortable with, and you do it around the top. So that's the crown molding is a key to making this look so finished. And then um, a little caulk, and it's very important just to make it all look seamless, like one big piece. Sanding to get rid of your rough spots. And then a nice coat of paint um, to make it all sort of come together and sort of transform it. So really easy, wow. not a lot of materials. Um, all right. Easy to do. If you don't, you're have, intrigued. If it, well, because uh, <laughs> well, uh, you make it look a little easier, I think, than it is. That would have been a little difficult. The only you're right. The only tricky thing is the is cutting the crown molding is to get that 45 degree yeah. angle. So buy a little bit of extra material because you'll probably like have to try I, it a couple times. I, right. I, I had a guy once upon a time who always, when I worked for him, always used to say, "You measure twice, cut once." Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Oh, just, right. Spend a lot of time. I on measure the twice, cut twice. And then you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you uh, table saw you used? I you used a table saw with power tools? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah well, we got a miter saw there that'll yeah. cut more than just straight lines. You can yeah. cut angles this yeah, way, but it'll so. also cut on an angle itself. Yeah. They call that cutting right. on a bias. Yeah. So it'll do it on a bias as well. If you don't have a table saw. If you don't have a table saw, you could, like, like if you're really beginning with power tools, you could do a jigsaw, just slow, steady hand, mm -hmm. or you could really even just do a good, old-fashioned yeah. straight saw, or go to your hardware right. store, pay the guy five yeah. bucks, yeah, and, and he'll cut it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Why so, are you cutting yeah. up a perfect door you just bought? Here's $5, just cut it for me. Exactly. And same thing with the miter. You don't need that miter compact. You know, the little yellow box that you cut yeah, angles yeah, with, yeah. you can cut your um, your crown molding on you that, too. You can do that, too. Just and this here is going to hold it fine. Yep, that's going to hold it fine. This is, you know, we've used this before. This is a French cleat. I know they make you nervous. They make me very nervous because every time I hang a very heavy mirror, I'll go to the the 
Lowe's or the Home Depot or whatever, and the guy always goes, no, no, ma'am, this will hold 1,500 pounds. I, go, I keep saying, I, I can bend it. I don't understand how this is gonna hold Well, this. what's really nice about it is you put, you see, we have one end up on the wall, you put it up on the wall, make sure it's level, it usually comes a little level. You put the other end on here. You don't even have to worry about getting it centered because it slides, it's, it's nice. and it's yeah. not like two different holes and you're trying to get them at the mm -hmm. same level. I think she, what she's getting in your head is like, Superman had kryptonite. <laughs> made him weak. You gotta be. It is these you things are so like It's but like a hold. It's super, super, super strong. It's strong. It's super super strong. Trust him. He knows. He does Probably jewelry. Here, Mark, you want to put that yeah. mirrors okay. up on the wall? Sure. You want to put that last? And so, as far as the finish on this, you know, I did a classic white, just wanted to keep it very kind of um, classic. But, but could you, you change the finish? Yeah, if it's for a man's bed, you could or a little boys, you could do a stain on it. Oh, good idea. You could do antique. Look, there's a stain of a door. You right, very rustic looking. Oh now, I, I like that the way that, that was partitioned off. And yeah. here, like you do, you do an antique finish and make it look very shabby chic. So there's a lot of different things you can do and different types of doors. And, and different those are moments. all doors. There's all doors. That's They're all doors. Beautiful. Shall we get this guy up? Let's Let's see see it. It. Hey, you two guys, uh, all right. right. Hand back and talk. I love having him around. Should, <laughs> should they put it up? Okay. Um, and you know, really, it's like. The thing is that this is real. It's like solid wood. You're real molding. Ooh, so it's not. The wall and let her slide yeah. on down. It's not some cheap, you know, really cheap there. headboard. You exactly. Know? And you're really gonna like. Okay, we discussed that the other so, one would cost six hundred and fifty dollars from a, a store we will not mention. Right. How much would this one cost? Um, I got the door for thirty bucks. Everything else, including the French cleat, including the paint, including the molding, mm -hmm. whole thing came to sixty dollars. That's it. Right. And, I will say this, a lot of hotels have the, the French cleat or the headboard to the wall. Right. And this is exactly the way. Right. You want to grab the bed exactly. for me? We'll put it back into place. All right. Yeah, so, and then it's it's nice because you can actually then move the bed out when you're making the bed, when you've got issues to change yeah. it out, and it's very, very solid. Now, how, like, that looks beautiful. 60 bucks. Right? If you already got the door, it's going to cost you more like 20. <laughs>